Okay, so traditionally, uh, typically all our water goes through the, uh, the generating station behind us here. So for example, this year, we had a lot of excess water. We had a late spring, we had a lot of snow, and then we had a lot of rain all summer. The lake started to rise, so the only way we can get the extra water through is through our spillway. So when we do put water into that area, we're going to be putting a lot of debris in there, like trees and branches and all that kind of stuff is going to go in the water, which is going to affect the, uh, the resource users in there, the fishermen, the commercial fishermen, the uh, recreational fishermen, and just the boaters out there. Well, I'm the president of the Grand Rapids Fishermen's Co-op. Well, every time there is a spill, and the Vidro puts us to work to um, pick up the debris that's floating down from the old river bed. As uh, all the debris that's floating down ends up on the shoreline and when there's a big wind, uh, all the debris goes into our net, so that's what we're trying to avoid. Well, this summer we didn't do any fishing through this uh, pandemic that, uh, that's COVID. So it's been good for the fishermen to take their work as we're not everybody has a different second job, but most of us only have this fishing and um, it's good for us, uh, the hydro put us to work. There is. The biggest uh, challenge we have is, uh, is at the end is when we're, when we're starting to reduce the flow. And the, and the concern we have there is that we could capture fish on the side of the, uh, of the bank because we have big riprap, big rock on the side. So we could be capturing rock, uh, fish in there. So we have to slowly bring the water level down. And we work with uh, environmental lights and museum protection, and uh, they work with the local fishermen to make sure the fish aren't trapped in there. And then any ponding of water, they go in there and they go capture those fish and return them back into the uh, to the river.